Hello, and welcome back to another Finale tutorial. Today, I'd like to show you how to create Finale shortcuts using key combinations. This, if used properly, helps tremendously improve the speed and efficiency of the program. Before I jump into the tutorial, I'd like to have a couple things. The first thing is that I recently reached 100 subscribers. This is great. This is excellent. Thank you all for supporting my channel and for getting me up to this point. I mean, it's a small victory. I mean, I'm not up to anywhere near, you know, 100 to 1,000 subscribers, but 100 is is excellent. I'm happy with with that. And I be more happy to see this this grow further in the future so to celebrate this occasion i'm going to open up to a q and a in the future for a live stream at least that's my plan i do not have a date as of now however i will let you guys know in the future when that will come another thing is if you want anything answered go ahead and leave a comment down below and i'll be sure to get to it all right, so let's get on with the tutorial. So go ahead and open up your current version of Finale. All right, perfect. And go ahead and open up to a default document. You can go ahead and pause the video if you need to. Okay, cool. Now that you've got all that set up on your keyboard, go ahead and press the F1 key. And what you'll notice is that by doing so, you've been taken to Finale's Help uh, Center, more specifically, the User Manual. This uh, F1 will always take you here, and if you ever need to look in the User Manual for something, this is a shortcut way of doing it. I thought I'd show you this. Also, F1 is the default shortcut for opening up the Help page for any application. So you see I'm in uh, Google Chrome. Go ahead and press F1. It'll take you to Google Chrome's Help Center right here. Let's go back into Finale. So creating shortcuts. So two other things I'd like to mention before getting into it. Uh, you see, I have a new program here that displays my key presses on screen. I figured this might make it a little bit easier for doing these tutorials for you guys. This is called Key Pose. And the other thing is I also, near the end of the video, will show you how to make your life just a little bit easier by, um, if you have a Razer product, a Razer keyboard. But if you don't not interested you can go ahead and skip it so let's get on to the video so two things there's an easy way and there's a hard way of doing this the hard way this is my 23rd take doing this is by using finale script um, which has not been cooperating with these recordings so I'm not going to show you that what I am going to show you though is the easier way so before we go into that, let's first understand how to, well, understand what we're trying to do. So let's say I use the slur tool very often, but I don't want to have to keep clicking, clicking it all the time to get to the slur tool. I just want to be able to press a key on my keyboard and have it just do it. So first we need to understand where this is located. It's going to be under tools. under smart shape and right there there is slur and if I press it you'll see that it goes to the slur the slur tool rather okay so now that we understand that and where it's located we can then go ahead and uh, execute our shortcuts so to do so go up to plugins and go all the way down to TG tools and then go to menu shortcuts. Okay. Now that we're here, 
This, my screen might look a little bit more different than yours, but that's okay. We're going to, this, I've already reprogrammed this, all these uh, shortcuts, so ignore all this. Go ahead and select Add, and we're going to go ahead and create a shortcut for it. Select Menu Command under this drop-down menu, go to Tools. Under that menu, go down to the, there it is, Smart Shape. And under that category, go ahead and find the slur. Cool, now that we've told it where to look, we're gonna need to assign a key. So on the right-hand side, you see these modifiers, your keyboard modifiers. And you can press any combination of these to get what you want. In our case, I'm gonna choose Alt and Control, and then for a key, I'm going to choose the backspace key in this menu. And there's backspace. If you find this menu a little bit limiting, you can also customize it by clicking listen and then uh, pressing a keyboard key on your keyboard. That was redundant. <laughs> so I just press number pad plus and it tells me just did that. We're going to go back to backspace. Once you have that set up, go ahead and click OK, and it shows up right there. Go ahead and click OK again. And let's go ahead and try it out. So Control, Alt, and backspace, and there you go. It goes up to the slur tool. And you can do this with as many key combinations as you'd like. And that's pretty much all there is to it. You will notice though, a couple things. Uh, you can probably tell that my main tool palette is a little bit shorter than yours. And you can customize all these palettes. The way to do that is to go up to Window, and then go under Customize Palettes. And then in this case, go to Main Tool Palette. Now you can go ahead and add or remove all the buttons and tools that you like. In my case, I tried to limit it down to weed out or trim all the redundant keys uh, and stuff that I don't use. So for example, repeat tool, uh, clef, time, and key signature. Those can all be accessed by right-clicking with the selection tool so it eliminates some clutter up here. But you might like it instead. That's gonna be pretty much how you do that, and you can assign, as, again, like I said, as many keys as you'd like to it. So, that was the tutorial for the Finale version. So now I'm gonna jump into the Razer Synapse, and um, I'm gonna just talk about how you can if you have a Razer keyboard, how you can uh, assign keys and make it even easier. So, so here we go. So for me, let me start off with going into plugins and pulling up the shortcuts again. Now you'll see that I've assigned Shift Alt F2, Shift Alt F3. So all the F keys, the function keys at the very top of your, the keyboard, to each button up here and it just simply goes across as such. When I open up Razer Synapse, you can see that if I click on, for example, the F2 key, Shift Alt F2, as I just programmed, uh, is assigned to open the Staff tool. And it's simple enough. You just simply click uh, Keyboard Function, and you just go ahead and enter the keyboard command, which in this case is Shift Alt F2, and you just save it and just walk your way through it. It's literally that easy. So on the left hand side are dedicated macro keys, which I decided to take advantage of. 
I use layers quite a lot in Finale, and changing layers by doing the key combination of Shift, Alt, and the number one, you know, number two and three and four, is kind of annoying. I'd rather have that be condensed down to just a one key press deal. So I've gone ahead and done that. And what's really nice is these are labeled M1, which stands for me. I just tell it that's assigned to layer one, layer two, layer three. And then since I don't go ever beyond layer three, um, I have playback and then stop playback right here. And Finale, anybody in Finale is watching, it would be nice if one day, like the rest of the world, um, you assigned the play play and pause playback uh, feature be space because all the rest of the world has done that. So can't we do that, please? Thank you. That would be nice. That was just my little take on it. But uh, that's pretty much it. That's going to be the long and the short of it. And um, it's, it's really that easy. If you have other peripherals like a mouse or or maybe a Corsair or a Cooler Master, I believe has their own um, driver software that allows you to do this, then um, I'm sure there's a different way of doing it. But for what I have, I can show you this. And that's really going to do it for the end of this video. And I can also show you that it all works. There we go. And that's going to be pretty much it. So again, thank you all for having me reach 100 subscribers. You guys are you guys are awesome. And um, more is to come from the announcement of when the live stream is going to happen. But again, if you have any questions about how to do something, uh, anything, um, really anything, please go ahead. Feel free to leave a comment. I'm more than happy to answer your questions. Well, that's going to do it for me. Thank you all very much for watching. Take care and have a rest of rest. Have a good rest of your day.